keeping up with America's changing landscape means frequently rehabilitating and expanding our nation's aging infrastructure. The necessary work will take place in increasingly congested areas and confined spaces using smaller excavating equipment. Its slide rail system to meet today's challenging situations. The system has gained popularity as more contractors are finding it to be an essential, highly cost-effective alternative to sheeting, since it is easier and faster to install and remove. The modular trench shielding system can handle multiple tasks, such as shielding around numerous existing utilities while minimizing vibration, providing protection for adjacent structures, and securing larger excavated working areas unobstructed by shoring system cross members. Slide rail is extremely useful when excavating in areas where sloping trenches is not possible. The component system is comprised of steel panels, similar to trench box sidewalls, and vertical posts. Slide rail is installed simultaneously as the trench or pit is excavated by sliding the panels into integrated rails on the posts, then pushing the panels and posts incrementally down to grade as the pit is dug. This process is commonly referred to as a dig and push system. Slide rail posts have either a double or triple rail, which telescopes the panels to require depth. With this system, depths of 36 feet are easily attainable for deep installations of wet wells and other structures. The versatile system can be used in a variety of configurations, such as small four-sided pits, ideal for lift station and other small structures, large unobstructed working pits of more than 50 feet with clear span system, or in a multi-bay configuration to install length of pipe as long as 40 feet or more. The system can also be configured to shield around existing utilities with innovative slide rail shore track combination. It is the industry's only prefabricated, pre-engineered cross trench utility shielding system. Shore track guide frames integrate seamlessly into any configuration of slide rail where existing utilities are present. The shore track guide frame system can also be used independently with both steel panels or sheeting. First, we'll show you one example of a basic four-sided pit installation. To begin, excavate a pilot trench up to seven feet deep. Place the first 8-foot panel into the cut. Next, install one corner post onto the first panel by sliding the post's outside slotted rail over the T-track on the end of the 8-foot panel. Push the post about 2 to 3 feet into the ground to stabilize the unit before installing the next panel. Slide the second panel down the first corner post's slotted rail then install the second post on the panel, but do not push down. Repeat the process with the third panel and the third corner post. Complete the square by installing the fourth panel, leaving the corner post as the last piece to install. Next, square the system by measuring diagonally corner to corner. Once the system is square, push on each panel and post until the system is level. This assures that the system is plumb and starting down straight. Begin excavating in one foot cuts and push panels down in increments of about six inches, alternating from one end to the other until each panel has been pushed to the bottom of the excavation. Proceed by pushing the corner posts down to where the shoes are level with the bottom of the panels. Continue with this process until the system is eight feet deep. If more depth is required, place four foot stacking panels on top of the previously installed eight foot panels and pin them together into stack brackets. Once all of the four foot panels are stacked, proceed by excavating and pushing the system until a depth of 12 feet is accomplished. If more depth is required, install additional eight foot panels and four foot panels into the inside open-faced rails of the posts 
and continue to excavate and push the system to the desired grade. Next, we'll show you how to assemble clear span slide rail system. First, lay out and assemble the upper external whaler system. The I-beam pieces bolt together and are connected by a custom corner piece designed specifically for the clear span system. It may be helpful to undercut the corner pieces for easy access to the underside bolt holes. Once the external whaler footprint is in place and all the bolts have been tightened, begin excavating a pilot trench just inside the whaler beams as much as conditions allow up to about 7 feet deep. Next, install the external whaler brackets on the whaler as close as possible to the location of the linear posts. Begin by undercutting the whaler at the point the brackets are to be installed. This may or may not be at the center of the whaler section, depending on the length of panels used and the system's dimensions. Now, lay in an 8-foot panel at one corner of the pilot trench. A second machine, such as an excavator, loader, or crane, may be helpful in stabilizing the panel. After this, the first corner post can be installed onto the panel. Install the other panel onto the first corner post, completing one corner of the system. After the first corner post and panels are in place, install a linear post to one of the panels and to the whaler bracket at the same time. A simple measurement will help determine the exact placement of the bracket along the whaler and some alignment might be required. The linear post's outside slotted rail slides over the T-track on the side of the panel while the slotted rail on the linear post's outside face slides over the T-track on the back of the whaler bracket. Next, install the second 8-foot panel to the linear post by sliding the panel's T-track into the post's outside slotted rail. Now proceed around the system installing a post, panel, then another post, then another panel, until all panels and posts are installed, leaving the fourth corner post as the last piece to be installed. Exclusive corner spacing tool to help align the panels for the quick and easy installation of the final corner post. Once the spacing is correct, Install the final corner post onto the two panels. At this point, it is important to level all the panels and posts to ensure that the system is plumb and starting down straight. Starting at one corner, excavate and push panels approximately 6 inches, alternating from one end to the other, periodically checking that each panel and post remains level and plumb. Continue excavating material from the center, moving around the system and pushing panels and posts until the entire system is 8 feet deep. Next, install the internal whaler brackets to the inside face of the linear posts and push them to the bottom of the excavation. The internal whaler brackets are similar to the external brackets, except that the internal brackets have rollers on the back to help facilitate the up and down movement of the internal whaler as the system is pushed to grade. Once all the internal whaler brackets are installed on the linear posts, lower the internal whaler sections into the excavation. Pull the sections into the brackets and assemble in place. At this point, if additional depth is necessary, four foot stack panels can be installed on top of the eight foot panels already in the system and pinned together with stack brackets. Continue excavating and pushing the system to a depth of 12 feet. 8 foot and 4 foot panels can be added to the inside rail of the posts for even greater depth. Continue working around the system, excavating and pushing panels and posts until the excavation is to the desired grade. 